Okay, now we proceed. Okay, how to calculate the mean variance and standard deviation from the binomial distribution. So we have the mean, okay, or we have the symbol of mu, okay, and we have the variance, okay, this is the symbol of variance, and we have the standard deviation. Okay, for the binomial distribution, okay, to calculate the mean, okay, the mean is equal to the n. P. Okay, so the N is the number of trial and the P is the probability of success. And the variance is equal to the N times with the P and times with the Q. So number of trial times with the P, probability of success, and Q is the probability of failure. Okay, so the, the standard deviation, okay, is the square root of the variance or the square root of n times with the p and the q and we know that our q is equal to 1 minus p okay now we look at the example okay a coin is tossed four times okay so we have a coin and we tossed four times okay so when we have a coin Okay, so that means we can get the head or we can get a tail. Okay, so to when we're tossing a coin, okay, to getting a head is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 and getting a tail is also 1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.5. So, the question asks you find the mean variance and standard deviation of the number of hits. Okay, so we let our P, okay, number of success is equal to the probability of getting hit. That means 0 0.5. Okay. Okay, then it is given a coin is those four times so we already have the n is equal to four so we know that we can use the binomial distribution because we have a number of trial okay which is four times and we have the probability of success okay of getting the h is equal to 0 0.5 so now the question asks okay us to find the mean Okay, we know that the mean is the mu is equal to n times with the p. So, from the binomial notation, we have the n is equal to 4 and we have the p is equal to 0 0.5. So, we get 4 times with 0 0.5. So, we get is equal to 2. So, this is for the mean. Now, the question asks to find the variance. So, we know that the variance, the formula of the variance, okay, for the binomial distribution is the n times, sorry, n times p times with the q. Okay, so we have the n is p, sorry, for our p is 0 0.5 and we have the q. And we have the p is 0 0.5, then we get the q1 minus p. 1 minus 0 0.5, then we get 0 0.5. So, we get the answer is equal to 1. So, the last one is the standard division. Okay, then is the square root of the variance. Okay, then we get the NPQ is 1. Okay, so the square root of 1, then we get is equal to so, this is how we calculate the mean variance and standard deviation from the binomial distribution.